Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today we're going to be focusing primarily on fonts and making font faces and also uh, sub-font families to help support different uh, character ranges such as extended Latin, you know, perhaps Korean, Chinese, what have you. Uh, so that's going to be the focus for this tutorial. Uh, I found it specifically useful in my own projects that I've been working with, so I thought I would make a tutorial on it because there is not much documentation on it. Uh, there is some Unreal documentation. I'll link it in the description. Uh, it gives you a little bit of what to do and a little bit about sub font families, but I didn't find it very useful. Uh, but then I did realize how to use it, so that's why I'm making this tutorial for you guys. Uh, so let's first go ahead and go ahead and import our uh, fonts. So make yourself a font folder if you want in your content browser. Right click, import, and then find your font. So I have a font it's called Esfamir. Uh, I found this one pretty useful because I know for a fact that it is missing a set of character ranges. So we're going to use that for our example. Uh, so if, what I first like to do is just because there's different styles that it has, such as bold, bold italic, things like that, I want to use just the normal one first, open that, and it's going to ask if we want to create a new font asset using the font, font face, and so we want to say yes. So now we have our font in our font face, uh, but now what we can do is import the rest. So let's import the rest of it. Uh, say no to all because we don't want to create all new font faces for every single one. Just got to select all of them, save them. Now let's open up our font. So now here's our font. Uh, I'm not going to go over every single detail about this font editor, uh, just the important quick ones here. So down here you have your character preview. Um, and I'll, I'll leave a link uh, in the description to get this text font and I'll also leave uh, a link in the description to where you can get character ranges for different types of uh, character ranges. So this is the website that I use. Uh, I'm not going to try to pronounce that, I guess this is jrgraphics.net. Uh, specifically, we're in Latin Extended A. You can go ahead and pick any one you want, but this one is where we're missing a special character, and it's this one, and it's lowercase partner as well. So just to show you what that's going to look like when it is not supported by your font, you're going to type it in, and you're going to see this weird A character. I don't know the name of it, but that's how you know it's not really supported. Uh, so we're going to fix that in just a little bit, but first let's go ahead and just create our font family. So we're going to go ahead and add a bunch of fonts. We'll just do uh, five in total. Uh, so we'll want to go ahead, we'll do bold, uh, bold italic, uh, semi bold, and thin, I guess. Uh, and you want to name these. Uh, so the first one you could leave as default, but I'll just call it normal. Uh, next one, at this point, we'll want to name them as they're labeled. So bold. This one's bold italic. This is semi bold. And this is thin. As you see, when we add this, you can see a preview for all of them. So let me take out this special character real quick, just so you can see this. Uh, hello. So you can cut, you can see you know the style how it will look as a preview. But now we need to go ahead and solve the problem of that unsupported character or set of character ranges. So what we'll want to do is here add a sub font family. So this step is actually not super necessary. It just depends on the font you're using. If you know for a fact that your font supports all these character ranges, there's there, then there's no point in doing what we're doing here. Uh, but, you know, if your game supports like 11 different languages, you know, and you have subtitles, you have text, and at this point, if your font doesn't support a certain set of character ranges, this is where you'll want to go ahead and do it. So you want to name these appropriately. I'm just going to call it Latin Extended A. And I'm using uh, I believe I'm using 4.18.3. So this is a, I don't know which engine this feature came in, but in my own personal project we were using 4.16, so it wasn't there uh, when I was doing this originally. But we can go ahead and hit Add Character Range, and this drop down. This is what's new to me, because uh, I had no idea this existed in later versions past 4.16. What I had to do earlier was go to this website and see these character ranges, so 0, 1, 0, 0, all the way down to 0, 1, 7, F. 
Uh, but now, uh, you can use this drop down menu. If you know which character range you want, you just pick it. And conveniently for us, this website and Unreal use the same naming conventions for these uh, character sets. So you hit that, and you'll see the A with the uh, underscore on top of it, and then this other character. But you'll see 0, 1, 0, 0, and 0, 1, 7, F. And you can see it's the same exact range that we have here, which is super cool. Uh, so now that we have our character range, we can add our font. Now, I know for a fact that the uh, Robo2Bold uh, Robo uh, character uh, font, the one that's defaulted with Unreal, uh, if you don't see it showing up here, just do View Options, Show Engine Content, and you'll see it. So if we choose Robo2Bold, now we have our extended character set. But hey, we can't really see it. What can we do? Let's go back. Let's get our special character. Throw it in. And hey, now we have it. And it does follow the style a little bit, but it really just takes over what, uh, what you'll see with uh, Robo2 Be Bold. I, see, I say Robo2 Be Bold, but I think it's, what is this? Robot O Bold? I have no clue. It's <laughs> I'm saying it probably wrong, but it's whatever. So now we have uh, a font uh, fa font face that supports all these characters. So we could just type in another one if we want, just to preview it. Uh, but that's pretty much it. But let's go ahead and just see this in uh, practice as well. Uh, in my blueprints folder, let's go ahead and create a user interface. Uh, BP UI uh, font or fotten if you can't spell. So BP UI font. Now, uh, we'll just grab a quick text block. Uh, if you don't know much about UMG, I'm not going to go over any of the minor details here, but definitely there's other tutorials you can watch for that. I'm just going to do a quick preview. <clears throat> just do a size to content. Uh, let's center it. So zero out the position in X and Y. Alignment 0.5 in each, so it's exactly centered. Uh, let's make this big. I'll uh, we'll make it 60 just so we can see it. Now font family, Robo2, or Robot O, whatever you want to call it. We don't care about that. We have S for mere font. Got to pick that one. And now remember those typeface names that we gave. Normal, bold, bold, italic, semi, bold, thin. That's where this comes in handy. So now we have normal, bold, bold, italic, semi, bold, thin. Perfect. So now let's just type a bunch of gibberish. This is a bunch of gibberish. Obviously, there's some spelling errors that doesn't matter. But let's also add some special characters now. So a bunch of those. And a bunch of this one. Actually, that's a K. And I'm not, uh, <laughs> that's a weird K. But we'll put one of these. And I guess for fun, let's do a J. So as you can see here, it's supported. Now, if we uh, take, let's take our font, clear it out. It's, see, like now some of these letters are missing. <laughs> so Latin extended A, <laughs> that's actually kind of convenient. You can see <laughs> which range you're missing. I didn't even know that either. That's super cool. But I guess it supports uh, this character, which it's fine, uh, but there should be details about what your font uh, character range your font supports. But if you don't, I guess this is a good way to find out what it doesn't support. So we know Latin extended A. So let's just put that robot bold font face back, save it again, and we're back in business. Now just to quickly show it in game, uh, easiest way to show easiest way to show our uh, UI. I guess it could be a level blueprint, yeah. Probably. Okay, I think I'm getting a crash, which is fun. So, uh, I guess I'll cut this video and bring it back once this crash is done. Sorry about that. Uh, so let's bring back everything that we had open. We have our BPUI font, and we have our S from your font. Now to add to the screen, uh, should be enough to go into the level blueprint to begin play. Create widget. Uh, we don't need to put anything for owning player, but we should just put font. 
add to viewport. So let's see if this works. And there it is. And that's in game. Uh, this is a bunch of gibberish, <laughs> and then all our special characters. So this is useful strictly based on the support of multiple languages in your game. So if you do plan on having Japanese, Korean, Polish, Spanish, Russian, anything like that, and you need to support the character set, this is exactly how you do it. Uh, so I'm going to leave a couple links in the description for you. I'm going to put a link to this website so you can see what character ranges are for which one. Uh, just in case you're in an earlier version than 4.18.3 that doesn't support this drop down. Or if you're just curious about that, um, I'm also going to leave a link uh, to this documentation on the font asset editor if you need it. And I'll also leave a link to the font that we use for this tutorial. Uh, but we got that working with the got the character set supported and that's really it for this video so if you aren't already subscribed please subscribe for more videos I don't know how often these videos are gonna come out cuz I'm busy and I also try to pick topics that I find interesting that I never knew about that I'd like to share with you guys because a lot of the time some of these obscure topics don't have really good documentation or tutorials so I'd like to be the one to support that and give that to you guys. Uh, make sure to click uh, on more videos for more tutorials on UMG and blueprints, and um, I'll see you on the next on the next video.